Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Liam Williams. The curious case of Liam Williams. Am I a Liam Williams fan? Yeah I am. I wanted him to uh, beat Beefy Smith when he, when, he, when he fought him. And I think if they, they used the loaves, him and his team, they could have nicked that decision, but I think maybe the sand might have been draining out of him. I don't know. Beefy Smith's tough, he wasn't going to quit with all his family there, worrying his mates. Liam Williams were cut as well, wasn't he? So that fight leaves a bad taste in my mouth. They had a rematch. Smith just nicked it, didn't it? But I thought it was very close and could have gone either way, but. Scoring is subjective, but backing up a little bit, if you look at his career going through, British and Commonwealth champion, he's now got a ranking of number two with the WBO. Jamie Mongue is number one. I'm sure Frank Warren will be trying to get Liam Williams in with Andrade for a world middleweight title at some stage. Has he got a chance in that fight? Yeah, I think he has. I think he can beat Andrade. Is he the most improved fighter in the UK since everybody was saying Dillian White's the most improved? Yes. Is Dillian White tainted? Well, yeah, because he's done a two-year ban for drugs and there was the issue with the Oscar Rivers uh, fight, one not there, with the, the PED test and whether he did or didn't. He's cleared with that, so we have to move on, don't we? Uh, but getting back to Liam Williams, it, since the Liam Smith rematch, he's gone on a winning streak of six knockouts, and the last five knockouts have been with Dominic Ingle. I saw, I've saw, I've seen a few videos where people have been giving him a bit of stick because he's knocking people out all of a sudden. But I think he's always been a massive puncher anyway. But maybe he was tight at the weight. I don't know. But the last win he had. Atlanta's Fox, he cut him down like cheese, didn't he? Folded him like a deck chair, he were, on, he were on him. And I think the shackles are off now that he's had that, you know, he's been beat by, well, one person, hasn't he, basically, Liam Smith. And you could put a question mark against that, then two losses, couldn't you, really? You could. I see them fighting the third time at middleweight down the line. But. I think he's the most improved fighter in recent times, Liam Smith. So credit's got to go to Liam Smith and for leaving his comfort zone in Wales and coming up here. Got to give him credit and we have to give Dominic Ingle, aka the white flex wheeler. We have to give flex credit, we give him stick. And we know what about, don't we? But you've got to give him credit. He's done well with him, but he's not had Liam Williams from debut, has he? So, but we still give him credit for what he's done with Liam Williams. Uh, I think Liam Williams wins the world title, probably at WBO. But I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him fight Kel Brook at, say, I don't know, 157 or something, catchweight, or even middleweight. I'd like to see Kelbrook against Liam Williams. I think that's a great fight. Kelbrook needs to get Amir Khan out of his head. I mean, that's not, that's now lost its sparkle, hasn't it? We'd still want to see it, but it's lost its sparkle. But Liam Williams against Kelbrook. I make Liam Williams a favourite at 160. I make him a favourite at 157. I think it's a 50-50 fight at 154. We were told a couple of years ago that Kel Brook's a super middle boiled down to welter. So why can't he fight Liam Williams at 160? It's an in-house fight. Sure they could do it. Sure Kel could go, go get another trainer. And uh, we could create a bit of intense beef on IFL. I mean that's that's how boxing's going, isn't it? You know, in, going the circus way, isn't it? But Liam Williams, the most improved fighter. Uh, over his last six fights, six knockouts on trot since his since his since that loss against Liam Smith in that rematch. 
he's on a fantastic run and it's good to see let's hope he stays on this run because I'm a Liam Williams fan so alright peace out don't have nightmares alright but like I said I think he's a great fighter and I'm not just going to sit here and talk we don't talk bully we just tell it straight but like I said I think he's a great fighter and uh, I think big things are planned for him I think this virus has probably come at the wrong time for him but it is what it isn't alright